Today is an auspicious day. Barry finally splashed and he's sailing across the strait right now with Haley. Uh, so they don't have an engine yet. So I'm out here in uh, HMS Silver Bay Shipyard Whaler. I'm gonna run out there and catch them and tow them the last bit in because there's a couple of dangerous reefs. And not that I don't trust him, but you know, he did just spend a lot of time and effort fixing this thing up. So let's not run it into a reef just yet. Maybe get your sails down before that. Yeah, sounds good. Let's do it. Oh, this is awkward. Hey, look, a sincere moment. Cheers. Welcome to Gabriel. Well, good thing you have a fridge, right? Excuse me, young lady. I want you to get in the back. Go take a beer. Cool. Hey, Ellie. How does it feel to be on a floating island? I mean, I've been nicer islands, but this, nicer. Is, this is the one. You're talking shit about my island right now? <laughs> Uh, I mean, this is like currently my favorite island, as mm. I reside on here. Um, mm. Again, I've been to Hawaii, so like this is nice too. Haley's the uh, politician of the group, just so you guys know. Always out with non non statements. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's it's all right. I like it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Everything's right? great. She'll be like, I'll, I'll be like, we're done this, and she's like, yeah, but we still have this and that and that to do. Like, well, give me a win. I want a win. <laughs> She gives me nothing but like like silver linings to stuff. Like I I, I come doom and gloom, and she's like, "Oh, you know, that's just how it is sometimes, Simon. So Everything's fine." Have our phones out. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. Double, double tubing. That's just because I I was so tired before, and it was the only thing that was keeping me going. <laughs> just a little light at the end of the tunnel. But also, I mean, you could work at Walmart. Instead, we're fixing up perihelion, so yeah. things aren't really that bad. Smelling honey farts. Yeah. yeah that was a good fart, honey. Oh, Holy, that's a dog. We're going. <laughs> Anyways, check this out. Side saddled, side by side. I've done this with plenty of people here, but oh, it's such a thrill to do it with my friends. It's a good looking boat. It's a good looking boat. Anyways, we're having dinner. We're going to eat some chicken and rice and maybe catch the sunset over on Carlos Island. It's gonna be a lovely evening. Hey, you guys got any more beer? Cheers. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is an exciting day here in the shop. We've got two new packages, two different ways of doing the same thing. And I just wanted to bring you guys along with it because I'm really excited about it. I think it's the future of my business. Old school, scrim plastic. We use this for all pattern making. I just got a big roll of it come in and I've got 
four, five, six patterns that I have to make. So we'll be doing the old school way um, on those patterns, tensioning, taping, marking, cutting, all of those things just to get a good pattern to then make our projects with. But welcome to the future, ladies and gentlemen. 3D scanning. So let's do a quick unboxing and show you what comes with uh, Shining 3D's Einstar 3D Scanner. All right, power cable came on the outside. I assume this is because they ship internationally. Zippers feel good and high quality. First of all, these are scanning dots. Cables, this is the data cable. The box has a real Apple finish to it. It's a little custom looking, it's pretty cool. I know you're gonna find another connector like that out there in the world. So uh, don't lose that. Great. Let's look at the scanner. It's got a silicone cover on it. It's like the size of an old landline. You guys remember those? Does anybody remember those? There are a couple of buttons here on the back, three buttons. You've got your data port right here on the bottom. And I guess, yeah, you just hold it like so and aim at your work and off you go. Got another compartment here. So this is like a glass board, I think. Yeah, it feels like glass. Okay, with some dots on it. So we got, oh, a little lanyard. All right, cool. Let's go try it out. One of the many fun things that we can do with the scanner is actually scan the inside of boats. And as you know, there are no straight lines on boats. The helium barrier up front, bolting down some of the beams. I'm gonna go and get all of these beams scanned. Now, some of them are a little rotten, some of them are solid, but if we scan it all now, we'll get a baseline for where they all sit. And I can use that information to make templates in the future if we decide to chop one of them out. We are definitely taking the plywood out above it. Um, and some of these garber planks here need to go too. But otherwise, we'll just get the info now because we can and it's easy. Since I'm having trouble getting tracking and on these bits, I imagine it's because of the varnish on this wood and the white paint. I'm gonna add these tracking points. Hopefully they help and we'll see. this homemade concoction, isopropyl alcohol and um, carpenter's chalk. So squirted those two together, gonna spray it down and uh, see if that gives me some better tracking. <laughs> All right, so that evaporates pretty quickly. Should leave a nice matte blue chunky finish. Should be perfect for the scanner to pick up. So Barry's measurements. Barry, what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, I'd like a smaller Sharpie. Like a sharper boat builder. <laughs> I'm pretty sharply dressed. Come on. What are those? <laughs> I don't know. We could technically do the math on it and figure out. Oh, it's... We could just draw it. How many inches is this? Three inches, say? Yeah. It's so... going to be three by the time we're done. So then what's three times 12? 30, so you want a uh, scarf that's that long? Is that how long that would be? How long is how long is that? What's the actual math on three it's times? It's 36. <laughs> no, it's one 12, by 12 for your scarf. 12 to one is a proper, proper that's, scarf. We don't need to do that. 12 to one, that's ridiculous. That's stronger to, than the wood, if you do you it that. 12 to three, how about that? Okay, that's also great. We'll through bolt and it'll be better. So because this beam is at the front of the boat and goes all the way across, um, it's short, but we can't actually get it underneath and into its little nubs that hold it in the uh, beam shelf. So we have to chop it in half and then scarf, glue those together, bolt them through mm -hmm. in order to get the whole thing to even fit in there. There's so just no putting it. a big piece like that into a... Well, the way that it would originally work when they were at the shipyard is that they built the boat from the bottom up. So the beams 
sunk into the beam shelf and then the cap rail and everything were bolted on top and glued yeah. down. We're not taking the cap rail off of our beam shelves. We're slotting them into the holes. And as a result, we can't drop the beam in completely. We have to either scarf on the ends like we've been doing all the other beams, or in this case, since we're replacing a whole beam, make a scarf down the center of it. It is what it is. Whoa. Cool. I'm going to trace this onto the template out there. Oh, just snip that shit. Yeah. that easy yeah. well that's why we're using old window vinyl do this okay two pieces let's pattern bang, bang boom well, let's start tacking this into place yeah and then do a marking what i do with when i'm patterning on uh when I'm patterning canvas is like we mark dots all the way along mm. and then we'll use this ruler or in this case a batten to draw a straight line because our patterns are always off by a little bit you know yeah so yeah they're wobbly so we want to straighten them out wobbly and we put the weight down and we stretch it out so that it actually I mean, it's not a nuclear reactor, so it doesn't have to be like down to the micrometer perfect, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Scanning stuff that's enamel white first off out the gate, probably not a good idea. So um, I picked up something a little bit easier and it's coming up in the next few episodes. Um, if you want to see more about the deck beams and all of that, I left Barry to do that on his channel. So I'll also include a link to his channel. You should go check him out um, because he's covering basically half of the perihelion project. We've kind of changed our focus on perihelion a little bit. Um, I've had a lot of stuff going on in my life in the last year and so, you know, it's just put a lot of my goals in perspective. Um, not really keen on running a charter service with that boat. Don't like the idea of being a, a slave to people all summer long and not being able to actually travel and enjoy it. So instead, we're going to just travel with it. We're going to, you know, it's going to be our boat and we're going to see the world in it, I guess. And that's the plan. Uh, so. There is no more Perihelion YouTube channel. We're just gonna let that sit and maybe something will come of it, maybe not, but um, thanks for humoring us anyways. Um, we're gonna be doing the build videos for Perihelion on my channel and on Barry's channel, depending on who's working on it. They'll just be our channels doing our thing. So yeah, that's if you wanna see all of Perihelion, by all means, check out Barry's channel as well because he covers basically half of it. Um, great. I should say two thirds because really Haley's with him more than <laughs> she's with me. So there you go. A huge shout out to Einstar for sending the scanner out. If you guys are interested in checking it out, link is in the description. That model is very nice. I, f I found I did a lot of research before I worked with them, and I will say um, on the market, that is kind of the nicest consumer level scanner that you can get these days. So until something else comes out, that is. Um, one of the better ones without spending an arm and a leg. It is not super cheap, but it's not super expensive either. It's not ridiculous. Um, so I think it's well within the reach of people who are passionate about this kind of thing. So if you're passionate about this kind of thing, please check out the link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks.